So Ground Truth Global reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I was interested in possibly reviewing one of their bags. And I said, you know what? Send me whatever you like. I'm down to review whatever. This is a good time to do it. Let's see what happens. So they sent me over their tote bag. And I just gotta say, as someone who's only used a few tote bags, primarily the Baboon to the Moon Go Tote, they aren't typically my favorite thing in the world. I find them to be kind of like one use only, realistically not that good for what I need and can't typically carry the smaller or any of the items that I need because the organization is usually bare minimum. And overall, I just find tote bags not my favorite thing in the world, pretty far down the list in terms of bags that I like. However, comma, this tote bag, I think has completely changed my opinion on that and is overall a very solid tote bag that has three ways to carry, wonderful internal organization, incredible materials, and overall, actually I found it to fit one of the needs in my life that I wasn't expecting it to fit kind of perfectly into. Let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, I just gotta say that this is made from 100% recycled plastic as you'll see on this lovely little, uh, little tag that they have right here. So let's get into the materials that make up all of this bag. Because I will say one thing that I do really like is this is a very water resistant, weather resistant bag that can definitely survive a lot of the elements without needing a rain fly or you have to worry about any of your electronics inside getting damaged. Outer shell is made from 100% recycled PET Ballistic Tri-Stop 600D, PET Ballistic 1200D, and PET 600D Hypalon. The internal lining is 100% recycled PET 150D Ripstop, and the webbing is 100% recycled PET Elastic. Everything on this bag is made from 100% recycled materials and solid materials that feel good. I like the blend of the Hypalon and the Nylon and the Ballistic. All of this feels really good to the touch. You've got that like tarpaulin feeling on the front pockets here with the like normal Nylon feeling on the rest of the bag. And then on the back of the bag, you also get that rubbery like tarpaulin feeling. This is where the backpack straps are on this bag. So let's talk about carry, right? So like I mentioned up top, this has three ways to carry. You have your typical grab handles, which I find to work pretty darn well. I use this a lot when I'm just having it by my side. I don't wanna quite sling it over my shoulder. Maybe it's just a quick move, something like that. I find it to work really well. You also have this carry strap, which is detachable. Uh, pretty solid padding on this. I found this to be pretty comfortable. This is where I don't typically like tote bags because this isn't my favorite way to carry a bag. I don't like the shoulder strap having it sit on my lower back or sit to my side. I found it to be kind of bouncy, a little bit uncomfortable. This bag, depending on how you pack it out, it depends on the shape. Um, you can see there's some floopiness a little bit to it because of how I have it packed out on the inside. So depending on what you have in this bag will definitely depend on what can be utilized and how you wanna carry it because I found carrying it like this, depending on what I have in here, was a little uncomfortable, but Ground Truth made up for that because for those of us that don't like to carry tote bags like this, there is uh, the straps back here that are, are hideable. They can be hid, hidden away and they pretty much attach the exact same way that the strap for the like shoulder carry attaches on. Only down here at the bottom, there are some little hooks here that you can easily uh, attach it to. And these aren't, now these aren't the most comfortable shoulder straps in the world, right? I mean, very minimal padding, very thin. Depending on how heavy this bag is when you pack it out will depend on the comfort factor when utilizing these backpack straps. But for those of us that want a tote bag, that want a bag that functions the way this one does, but you also wanna have the ability to throw it on your back maybe for a little bit of a longer distance, maybe for your commute on the train, on the subway, or in the car when you're walking from the parking lot into the building, whatever it might be, this is not only a quick transfer over because they pretty much just slide right back down in here without any issue whatsoever. And they attach and detach really easily with the, uh, the little metal clips that are on here. And for those of us that might wanna bring this with our roller luggage, there is a zipper down here at the bottom, and that's actually where these things sit right here. So you can actually utilize that as a luggage pass-through as well. 
This is the only part of the bag where the weather resistance kind of makes me a little nervous because there's an opening up here for the straps and there's a zipper down here, which means hypothetically, if water were to get in here and you didn't have this unzipped, it could build up here at the bottom and then potentially leak through the material. And there is no drain or like hole or anything down here for water to leak out of, which gives me a little bit of concern, but ultimately if it's raining, I would just probably unzip that to be safe and try my best to keep it as dry as I possibly can. Another thing with backpack mode with these uh, hybrid bags, as I like to call them, is you have no air channel, you have no EVA foam, you have no back padding. So if you are using this in backpack mode, my suggestion as I used it in backpack mode is try to minimize how much you're wearing it as a backpack because if you wear it too much, it's gonna to start to get sweaty, it's gonna get uncomfortable, and that's when you can switch to the other two carry methods. I found this to be really good. What I've used this for, the main function that I've been using this for, and I've absolutely loved it, was my work bag. And the one thing that I like about this when it comes to my work bag is because of the way the opening is at the top, my, my keyboard is usually too long to fit in most backpacks. But with this, I can actually leave this open and my keyboard and my longer items can stick out and I'm not too worried about it because it's a tote bag. It doesn't have to be zipped. I don't have to utilize it like a backpack. And overall, I found that to be a really nice function in terms of carry and organization on how this thing operates. So with all of that and the carry ways out of the way, let me show you every nook, cranny, pocket, and how I organize this bag for my daily carry office necessities. I did throw some extra items in here just to throw you the, uh, to show you the capacity and the organization and what can really fit in here. But besides my long keyboard that I'm currently using at work, um, this is pretty much everything I would take to and from the office with maybe a couple additional items just again to kind of show you what this bag is capable of. All right, so you have two adjustable water bottle pockets. They definitely fit larger water bottles. I was able to easily put in my little James Coffee Company canteen that I always use. You can also utilize these for tripods because you have lash straps on either side, two of them that if you wanted to bring a larger tripod or a smaller tripod or something that's not a water bottle, or if you just wanna cinch these down to get a little bit more of a tighter feel on the bag, you can also use those to secure whatever you have to the side of the bag, and I found them to work really well. They're also detachable on the front end, so if you wanted to just have them dangle, there is no spot really to kind of like tuck them away and hide them, so I just kept them lashed, kept them a little loose, that way I didn't have to worry about anything getting caught or them getting too tight or anything not fitting or being able to go in with ease. And ultimately, I found these pockets to be very useful. Again, I like the fact that they not only fit a variety of different water bottles, but also I could utilize my tripod, whether it be my travel gorilla pod, or uh, I couldn't quite fit like my full size tripod, but then again, I have a really bulky, clunky, like $20 tripod. I've never felt the need to upgrade my tripod. If I had the money, I would 100% upgrade to the Peak Design travel mobile tripod, because that one is about this size when I look at the dimensions, so it would easily fit. Mine is like this size when it's all the way compacted because it doesn't compact much. So if you have those and if you wanted to utilize that, you totally could. Not so sure if I would use this for any kind of photography because not a really good way to put a camera cube in there and I definitely wouldn't trust my camera free floating, but that's not really one of the uses or points of this bag. So here at the front, you have two quick access compartments. And now I've utilized one of the quick access compartments and I don't utilize the other and here's why. So here at the bottom, I throw in my extra portable charger and a Game Boy Advance. Now, the reason for the Game Boy Advance is because I recently found this. My parents sent me a bunch of stuff and they sent me this with a Pokemon game I played when I was a kid and it brought back a rush of nostalgia, right? And I've just been playing it for pretty much nostalgic purposes uh, only. I take to work since I play it on my lunch break. You know, I don't know. I don't play it a whole lot, but I do like that. This is like, this is old school right here, right? This is like early 2000s and I'm very happy that I still had one. So that's what I put in the bottom larger pocket. Again, WeatherGuard YKK zippers, love them. This top one I keep empty. And the reason is, is because when I'm carrying it like this, if my phone is in my pocket, if my wallet is in my pocket, if anything is in my pocket, if anything is something I gotta quickly grab, I like to have this pocket on the outside that I can just easily quickly throw whatever it might be in. Again, if you're using this as a carry-on bag for travel, these both are utilized as phenomenal security dump pockets. And I use that in my everyday life where if I'm getting into my car 
and maybe I threw, I throw my wallet and maybe my keys or something when I get to the office, maybe I put them in here, well then they're right there when I get out. Or possibly if I'm taking like the T, which is our mobile like public transport, uh, sometimes I don't like to sit on my wallet, so I'll throw my stuff in here and then I keep the bag just like right in front of me. That way I have eyes on it, but I don't have to worry about sitting on anything. I don't like sitting on my wallet, I don't like sitting on my keys or my phone. I'm scared I'm either gonna break it. It's also extremely uncomfortable and bad for your lower lumbar. But that is the two front pockets. I found them again to be absolutely phenomenal. Then you open the main compartment. Now in the main compartment, you also have a weather guard YKK zipper that keeps everything nice inside. Majority of the time, I'm leaving this open and that is what you get on the inside. It's dark and it's hard to see, but I have be able to utilize, there's three pockets in here. Uh, or pouches or slots because they're not really pockets. A couple of them have zippers. And then you have a spot for a laptop and then also a tablet sleeve. So in here, what I have done, and I'll do my best to show you, this is an example. Again, I'd be using my work laptop, currently utilizing it. Uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro will fit up to a 15 inch. And then in the tablet sleeve is my 11 inch iPad Pro. Just to show you that you could have your 13 inch laptop and a bigger or smaller tablet if you wanted to in these sleeves and thanks to this little like magnetic lock thing here it keeps it all very nice and tightly secured and also the plus of carrying a laptop is this is where the laptop sleeve is that's up against your back if you have it in backpack mode so it makes it a little bit more rigid and i found it to be a little bit more comfortable if i had something like my laptop on the back of the bag. Now, in the main compartment, what I've done is I've just thrown, this is my tech pouch that I'm using. Uh, it's the Modern Dayfair. I did a whole video on the Modern Dayfair backpack and this tech pouch. Phenomenal tech pouch, one of my favorites. Absolutely love utilizing that thing. And that's pretty much all I put in the actual main compartment itself. I don't usually put anything else in there. Maybe sometimes, depending if it's getting chilly or not, I'll throw like a lightweight jacket if I need it. But that's pretty much it for the actual like main chasm of this. You also have these little small pockets here. And in one of them, I threw both my notebooks, my film and my ideas notebook, just kind of thrown in there. It's a mesh pocket. It's kind of hard to see. I'll do my best to kind of do like a top down view. And then the other one is my snacks, uh, crystal light, just because I like crystal light. And then also a portable metal straw because I like drinking out of a metal straw. I don't know, always have. Um, there is a smaller pocket on the side here that goes all the way through. I've never really utilized, but it's also there. And then behind those other pockets is a zippered guy. And this is where I would typically throw AirPod Pros and my cell phone, my work cell phone to be specific, go right in that pocket. And that is it. You have two mesh pockets that you can easily access, a zippered pocket that I usually just leave unzipped, super easy to access, the mesh guy on the side, the laptop, and the tablet sleeve, and that is it. That is all the organization you have in this bag, but if I'm being honest, that's all the organization you really need in this bag. In terms of an office or EDC tote, I found this to be phenomenal. Again, made from recycled materials, made from fantastic materials with just enough organization to keep my little small items that I might need on a daily basis or in the office organized, to me, is awesome. I love it. It's easy to carry. I love the triple carry method. Sometimes I will actually utilize the strap depending on what I'm doing. It's super, super nice, especially for work. As somebody who's constantly taking stuff to and from the office, especially my laptop to do more work at home and then bring it in and maybe I'm working from home and then I'm coming in the next day. It's back and forth with the office. You never know what you're going to get. So I have to be prepared to take all of my office stuff home and then also bring all of my office stuff back. And a lot of my backpacks can't keep everything I want organized or I'm worried about certain items getting damaged. And this has been absolutely phenomenal for keeping everything organized and being just a great office tote. I absolutely love this. I think Ground Truth completely knocked out of the park in terms of a tote, especially the look. The all black aesthetic look to me makes it look more like a technical tote. And I really like that look. I dig it. I think a lot of totes kind of look silly and kind of floppy and floopy. And I really think that this one is pretty solid. This is actually a bag that I plan on using for a very long time. So with all of that, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Ground Truth Global Tote Bag, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Or you can hit me up on email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. If you have any more questions, you want more videos, photos, anything like that, you can also follow me on Instagram at od underscore Matthews. 
Uh, that's probably the best way to get in touch with me. I realized I use my email now more for like business stuff, business stuff well but not this because that that implies i'm doing something wrong but it's 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 business it's just you know like talking to companies and, and stuff like that um also instagram is just way easier to reply i found uh if you guys could don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for all the love and support you give this channel um and with all of that i will see you next time